Hi everyone, it's Adam here from various websites, well just YouTube really, from ads productions and ads vlogs, and this is the start, well the very first episode of our podcast. Uh. <laughs> okay, Brett, uh, Brett's eager to introduce it, so go ahead Brett. Hi, I'm Brett, and I shot my egg on the floor, which was the cause of my yelp. So yeah, hi. Egg being the... Uh, egg, egg being a chocolate egg, because it's Easter. Okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, basically this podcast is called Talking Through the Hat. Which originates from what's the meaning again? Is something like not knowing what you're talking about, but it's no, it's acting like you know what you're talking about, but you really don't. Just They're like what I... their hats, they are. Yeah. And okay, the... and we have so the main people in this podcast are going to be me, Adam, and Brett is speaking right now. Hopefully, go on, oh, Brett. Now I am. Now he is. And then we also have egg. what? I'm trying to crack the egg, but it works like normal eggs. Right. Okay, done it now. Christopher, we have Christopher as well. Hello, internet people in there, my microphone. Do you prefer to be go by your, your microphone? Oh, oh can't I hear you through my microphone? Oh, no, obviously not. Uh. Derp. Yeah, well, do you like to be, he likes to go by various al- aliases, so which one are you going to use for this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> like <a> criminal. <laughs> well, you do, you, you either go by Chris. <laughs> he goes by Mickey the Hat. <laughs> Brunt wins or Bert or Chris. Bert? That's my last time when have I ever used that as my own. What do you mean? You have, when you, yeah, you, just call you? me Bert. Call Bert. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, it, 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 it. Just call me Chris. His name is Chris. I just have to apologise in advance that uh, Chris might experience some disconnection issues, but that's I've been assured that's going to be solved very shortly. Anyway, I sound like a flight attendant person on the microphone, so <laughs> we also have Dalek in here. Hi. So, yeah, this is the start of the show, and the point of the show is... Can we say Dalek? Yeah. Sorry? Can we say Dalek? Because it's... Yeah. It's trademark. Well, trademark, but copyright. Well, not really. It's my nickname. Where did... Okay, yeah. that, that's, a, that's the first random topic. Yeah, the... anyway, yeah. Let, me, let, let me just clear something up. Okay. The point of this podcast is there's no point. So you just talk about whatever you want. Wow. That's like counterproductive much. Not counterproductive. Counterintuitive. It's great, right? Anyway, yeah, where is it? What's... Dalek from? Oh, and uh, the, okay. I know Seriously. what it's from, but what's Do- the origin Doctor of your name? Um, my origin, um, I used it seven years ago when I started watching Doctor Who, and uh, I don't really uh, get recognised for the Dalek character, I get recognised for being me, I don't know. The monotone voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brad? <laughs> the monotone voice. But no. <laughs> You just said a minute ago that it shouldn't matter because they know your nickname, but you just said you got a nickname from Doctor Who. From yeah, that's from Doctor Who. So, yeah, but then, that's the point I made. And you said that's not the point I made because that was a different point. I'm now confused. I eat my quite egg. Normal for you though, Brett, isn't it really? Not really. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to uh, you know start a conversation whenever you want. I don't really want to be the. Uh instigator of this sort of podcast so even though it was your idea in the first place yeah but the idea was to talk randomly so go on then brett let's let's hear a story about today ice skating. i went ice skating <laughs> just so you know i've never gone skating or ice skating or any sport before really i did football once but i broke my tire wait, wait, you, went, you went ice skating today or skating ice skating See, whenever I go ice skating, I've gone three times in my life, and every time I've gone, I get massive blisters on my feet. So did you get blisters? I think, Chris, I think that's... I'm a form, don't yeah. shower. But I fell over, and... Well, no, actually, I was going to fall over, managed to regain my balance, and then my friend tackled me. So Where did you go ice skating? Did you go to Guildford? I went to Gosport. Oh, that's why Portsmouth then, you know. Yeah, I think it was Ice World or something. <laughs> How much did it cost? Didn't cost me anything because my friend who tackled me paid. Oh, fair enough. Forehand, because so he, he sort like, of did deserve a tackle then. Like he deserved to but, give you one. No, if only the price for him paying would have been a tackle, then I'd paid myself, like for myself, as opposed to let him pay. I went to pay after he paid for everyone, and she was like, "No, nah, he's he's already paid." It's like, "Oh, okay." Then. I don't pay attention to him at all. But, yeah, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Take, 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 Go ahead. So yeah, I fell over. And started bleeding. Then I got back up, sat down for a minute, readjusted my blade. I was like, fuck this. I'm going to skate. And then I did. And then I went around like three times before touching the side. Readjusted your blade. Like a readjusted bar. my how, blades. How big is the place? The place you went to? 
not massive. It's like she. Um... Is it indoors? Yes, yeah, indoors. How many people were there? Do you reckon, like on average? Um, over the course of the day, like fifty, at the most, it... like twenty-five in that. Is one. it like you all have to go one way, or can someone just be like a badass and go the opposite can, way and can... just take people out? Right. That's what I would do. You're meant to go round clockwise. But there's a but, but on here. Yeah, there's a but, <laughs> right? There was three guys who came in during the course of the day. Two of them stayed from the very beginning to the very end. And they had just the hands in their pockets, like skating backwards, doing loops, doing triple cow lutzes while wearing a blindfold. It's ridiculous the level of shit they were doing. And they were just like slowing in between everyone. It's like, why are you doing this to the children? Yeah, just... usually it's the girl who's the chef when you go to the ice skate. And there's yeah, always like... one or two people there who are just like, they go ice skating. And I swear they go every day and they just go to show off to everyone. Like you get all the amateurs who are like on the edge and they're like got the hand on the side as they're like pushing themselves up slowly. And then they sort of just wash past at like 50 miles per hour like doing a double spin and like a backflip. It was, it was two guys and they were proper chavvy as well. And that's not like just hatred because they were like outperforming everyone. It's just... It, there was figure skating like chaps. If, like if you saw Morgan <laughs> on the street you wouldn't assume they were skating. T- that's the title of the first episode figure right there. Figure skating, chaps. Ch- figure skating chavs is the first title of our first yeah. podcast. The thing is, most Americans would be... So far. Like, oh, what's, what's oh. a chav? Is that a type of dog? Okay, right, let's... We'll each come up with our own terminology for the word chav. Dalek, what do you consider a chav to be? Um, a person who is, uh, you know, carries a knife around, at least some of them, uh, who acts tough, even though they're not, only in uh, gangs, and uh, just... Just generally, just a tough person, but they're just really, you know, retards. Yeah, I'd say a chav is a person who thinks they're tough, but isn't really. My definition of chav, though, is just remember, remember, remember who, you can't mention names on here, Brett. Someone who thinks they're G, right? <laughs> and G isn't like code for someone's name. Like G is in gangster, like the real OG. And OG Loke. They wear an excessive amount of Burberry. At least they used to. Yeah, they Not used so much to, now. now. Sort of like a. Yeah, that's like the just, they wear their trackies with their socks over the top. Kind of like Superman situation where I was wearing the underwear on the front of the tights. Not but really. <laughs> kind of. With <laughs> yeah. the wearing the layers the wrong way round. Please not can you not it's not compare Superman to Chavs. Just don't compare Chavs to Superman. We might have to re-record this podcast. I'm slightly uh, offended by that. You put oh. Superman in the same category as a Chav. Don't, just don't do it. No, I said... What they dress like is similar, but his outfit is stupid anyway. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so now that's... Superman has a terrible outfit. You're stupid. I know. Thank you for telling me. See. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't really mean to hurt your feelings. No, you're not. No one's ever sorry. <laughs> we just say that to move along and then laugh about Leah. Ha ha ha! So funny. Green giant. What was we talking about anyway? <laughs> like ice, ice skating. We sort of went from um, what was the topic? Oh, ice skating. Yeah. Ice, ice chav, yeah. chav definitions. So you two got the yours. Because I interrupted. Go on, then rest your turn. Well, the actual chav definition comes from council house and violence. So. <laughs> to be fair, you can get chavs that win the lottery though. So what does that make them? Well, they no longer become a chav because they now have their own house. So they are now just a... Uh, mouth? A v- and violence. So it's a... V- oh, they're, they're a mouth. V- v- that's what Money and... It's just an... Mouth. and violence. Yeah. There's actually violence. a guy who won the lottery. Do you know? He's called... He called himself, like, the Chav King after he did it. And he bought a racing horse and, like, covered it in burgundy and all that. And, like, he got himself a burgundy crown. And he, he called what himself crown? the King of the Chav. I can't say the word. Don't make me say it again. Say it one more time, please. No. Well, Burberry. Let's all go around and say the word Burberry, yeah? I'm joking. <laughs> Burberry. Right. Um... Burberry. Yeah, anyway, carry on. What were you saying, Chris? So, yeah, he, he bought a horse, a racing horse. He covered it in it. And he, like, got a crown and he, like, covered it. He pretty much just called himself the king of the chav. And I, I'd pretty much say he was. He won the lottery. He was an idiot. He wasted all his money. That's pretty much everyone does when they win the lottery, don't they? 
You never hear a news story about how someone won the lottery and then they decided to invest in a company and then made another billion out of it. All the news stories is like, yeah, I won the lottery. Yeah, but they all go, I'm going to put it in the bank and get interest. That's that's like, oh, great. No one says, I'm going to buy like 10 sports cars and go bungee jumping, like, back, I don't know. What? That's what everyone does, though. When they all chose bungee jumping. Oh, my God. No one buys the lottery and the first thing they do is go to the bank and start talking about investment loans. Yeah, most of the people they like, they win the lottery, and it's like, okay, how many times can I go to Florida? <laughs> how many sports cars can I buy? Mm. Uh, my eyes are stinging. Is it? Can you get hay fever in this like current season? Because my eyes are yeah. like. Do you say it's okay? To get hay fever? Can you? Can you? Yeah, you can get hay fever. Can you get hay fever in like winter? Not really, because there's not really anything to get hay fever from, is there? You could live in a greenhouse. Ah, oh, god. It, what living in a greenhouse? Yeah, because living in a fun house, pollen. having the time of your life. I don't think you could actually live in a greenhouse in winter. Because okay, no, it would be right. too cold. That would be freezing. Okay, no, Thin panes right. of glass, got, like, surrounded metal. Black lights and shit. I say black lights. That's for um a different plant. But um, what? <laughs> just have like UV lights and no UV lights are still black lights, aren't they? Have lights. I'm pretty sure that's what lights, druggies which... used to grow weed in a in a house. Yeah. Oh, it have is. someone to tell us then, Brett. Yes, because <laughs> no, I, no, 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 I no, clearly no. know how. Because <laughs> no, I was doing the um, my EPQ. Is it weird how? Is it weird? Is it weird that by UK law, okay, you can buy cannabis seeds, they're not against the law, and you can buy a kit to make uh, cannabis leaves uh, seeds grow. However, you can't buy them in the same store, so the same store can't sell them. But you can buy them both. Like, you can go to a gardening store and buy that, the, the kit you need to actually grow it. Then you can actually go to, like, a weed authenticated school where it sells all the bongs and that, and you can buy seeds. They, they just have, can't sell it. What are these schools called? you got, like, the weed sort of appreciation stores, you know, the ones that appreciate <laughs> cannabis. I'm not 100% sure this is correct. Have we said weed authentication stores? Oh, I, I don't know what they were. I thought them, you said weed authentication schools. Schools? Which is, um, they're not really the weirdest school. institute in the UK. There's Sounds educational, funny. you know, they teach how to wall up, they teach how to make a good shot, eh? you know. The art Ladies and gentlemen, our production does there. not condone drug use and anything such like. Yes, we do. <laughs> what are you on about? We, we well, you, you, may, you may do, but, you know, each to their own and all that. We just condone, there's, there's different levels of drugs, okay, and the government has easily marked it for you. We do not condone anything that is an A, you know. Don't don't start doing heroin because uh, it kills people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, talk to the rivals. Don't do any rivals. That, uh, that some is bees, every some time. bees are okay. We condone some bees, such as uh, you know, marijuana. We condone you that. Condone such bees. LSD. We just don't. Chris, Chris, uh, just Chris PCP. condones it. I condone it. Therefore, law <laughs> shall pass. <laughs> Nothing. Else. Just heroin for everyone. We don't Stop combine it. hair with Come yeah. on. Feel free to chip in any time, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> my opinion on drugs, they're for losers. Adam has yet to give his definition of, definition of child share. Oh, I don't really... We'll come back to that. I don't really have a... No, what's, what's, what's the definition of a child? Um, but it's counter counts on violence. Basically, you know when you go out past 10 o'clock at night and you see the the people on the street corner are just like... Basically, it's, it's, I'm talking about the stereotypical meaning. This isn't obviously... Like, specific to one area. Yeah, but, you know, you go out somewhere and it's sort of... You see some people sat outside a... Con- oh, there goes Chris. There's the first disconnect of the podcast, as I told you to do. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah, the people that hang outside convenience stores and sort of just sit there with hoodies on, thinking, yeah, we own this turf, when really they don't own this turf. This turf, which is all paid for by us, and we run everything, including these shops and shipping. I had the best chips yesterday. Fish and chips, mate. Would you fancy a cup of tea? No idea how good they were. Were they? What did you get? Are you one of those people that go into a chip shop and just... <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. I just go and cough over everything. You just go in and sit... Straight go. to the fire, just... <coughs> and then just walk out. 
like a yeah. bus. <laughs> Everything the helicopter like comes in, it's like, there. I see what just happened. You best clean up. Look at oh, me I mean, are, you, are, you, are you the sort of person who goes in and buys chips and that's it? Or do you get? Do you have to get something else? Well, I can just get chips. But what do you I... normally get is what I mean, sorry. Well, usually it's like every fortnight we get fish and chips. We get yeah. um, so we always say we always say we're gonna go chip. get some fish and chips, but we don't. We ne- we never. Well, hardly ever get fish. We end up coming back with like I oh, like sausage and batter. They are badass sausage yep. and batter, but not a large one because that's just like nah. It's a medium sausage and batter for the win. But Chris doesn't know what does a taste of a sausage tastes like. Uh, he might do though, depending on yeah. Um. <laughs> Let's get, let's go to Chris's vegetarian roots. So Chris, let's discuss my fish and chips. But you know, fine. Why else let's talk about uh, about fried food? What the fact that the, the chippy in um the Warren is the best place on earth? Can I say what it's called or not? Because you can say it to our multi-million viewer audience, sure, or listener audience. Sorry, it's called Wings, and it's fantastic. It's run by Mister Wing, right? It's a Chinese. Fish and chip shop. That in itself is award worthy and has won awards for having amazing fish and chips. The little potatoes they use, right, are grown in the field next door. <laughs> horses, horses literally gallivant around in that field, right? Not over the potatoes. Obviously. All over our chips. Nice. I'm not going there then. Did the uh, egg rolls no, no. come through with it, them? Yeah, potatoes grow underground, by the way. But, um, yeah, what, Dalek? Do egg rolls come th- free with them by any chance? Well, you can. There's a whole Chinese menu as well. It's not just like a Chinese shop and we'll only sell fish and chips. It's like they will. They have an entire Chinese menu, and you can just go and like have number four, number six, number seven extra spring rolls. But yeah, it's the wing. And the fish there is heavenly. Yeah. Yo, Chris, disconnect and connect again. You might sort your microphone out. Anyway, uh, what were we saying? Your chips are amazing, Chris and Chris to talk about vegetarian. Yeah, theme. we'll wait for Chris to get back. He's got that. His vegetarianism, but um, uh, got a lot of these points in the podcast that are just silent. Let's happy, take a let, let's take happy a Easter, everyone. Happy Jesus isn't dead anymore day. Yeah, that's Jesus it. is alive again day. Oh, I need to add Chris back in here again. There yes. we go. Hello, Christopher. Hello. That's good enough. Anyway. Okay. But, but it, 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 do you want to talk about your vegetarianism? Uh, oh, Same vegetarianism. Like vegetarianism. Oh. So again, I don't want to sound like I'm preaching to people. Like, uh, well, you got a bad mic- like You got. You, like... have, yeah, you have a bad microphone, so you can preach to yourself, and it will still, you know. Um. Let me think. How are we gonna do this? Hopefully, Chris's microphone. Have... I only gave it to him. No, no, it's, it's nothing to do. It's the way Skype works because it uh, sort of processes the sound that it gets given based on your internet connection. So if, if it's not internet connection, but the connectivity that you have, which is basically the same thing. But yeah, it does it's it. He had a terrible mic. I said, no, it's okay. not. The mic, because we've heard, we, we heard no, what. No, no, no. You said he's got a terrible mic. And I said you gave it to him, which you did. He doesn't have a terrible mic. You said second ago he did. You can play it back. I will do it at the end of this to make sure. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to write that down. What am I writing down? Uh, Adam is a dickhead. <laughs> Whoa! Brett Gray said. Adam said. What? Chris had a terrible mic. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the only reason it sounds bad is because of Skype connectivity. Nothing to do with microphone or hardware. So. How come he has uh, bad activity? Sorry? Uh, yeah, well, how come he has a bad connection then? Because series of tubes isn't thinking. Uh, missed conference call. Who are we getting missed conference calls from? Chris, obviously. For God's sake, hold on. <laughs> Kick and remove. Hello. <coughs> there's a love in this. Hello, Chris. Hello. There you go. That's fine. What's what's going on? What do you mean? What's going on? I've just been listening to you. I've been listening this whole time. Right. Well, we couldn't hear you. So, talk about being a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't really want to preach to you. People are no, waiting. D- don't preach, just say your opinion. Okay. Uh, everyone who eats meat is uh, a murderer. And How they should... fucking dare you? 
<laughs> they should probably be crucified. Preachy bastard. Actually, crucifixions probably are too good for them. They should actually uh, be stuck in a tub of honey with bunny, uh, bunnies with bees. Bunnies. Bunnies. <laughs> bunnies <laughs> yeah. Clean. Then we can eat the Easter bunnies for free. What the f- No one eats Easter bunnies. <laughs> Only one Easter bunny. Get it right. I don't think anyway, it's honey bees. Yeah, but how how can we're murderers though? That's the thing. Um, people at the people who work at like the uh, you know, places where they ki- kill the animals. Abattoir. They killed them, not us. We abattoirs, just buy ab- the food. abattoirs are heavenly places. What are you on about? Okay, okay, let's go for this way. Okay, I'm gonna find out. Was if I was to fund uh, an extermination to kill every single person who lived in Eastley, but I didn't personally kill him, who would be the murderer? Hmm? Um, oh, yeah, probably the abattoir. person who killed them. Well, I wouldn't be considered a murderer when I was the one who funded the expedition of murder. Um, well, I guess you'd be part no, of it. No, no, hot, no. You know films where they hire hitmen, right? That's so they're not the ones directly blamed for the murder. It's the person who actually does the killings. Yeah. You'd be an they accessory to murder, though. You'd be an accessory to murder. Either way, you're, you're funding murder. genocide. Not really, because if we didn't eat meat, then we'd all be skinny people with barely any muscle, and, you know, we'd just be, you know, eating uh, grass all the time. You're and, worse than the Nazis. Uh, am I? Oh, yeah. so I, so so if I ever find out you're a Jew, then I'm going to you know, go over to your house and kill you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stuff. Chill out with the Nazi stuff, yo. Silence is golden. With the Nazis. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Chris has got, Chris <laughs> got kicked off again. Oh, God. All right. Yes. So... This is the one downside to having a podcast that's completely unscripted is there is no script. And it can go terribly wrong like this. No, it's not going wrong. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Pardon me. Pardon me. At least it's... Uh, da, da, da. You've seen the pocket sand thing on King of the Hill, right? Pocket sand? Pocket sand. Oh, I'll send you a link later. Kingdom of the Hill, King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Uh, as in Pank Hill, propane. No, I've that. seen the one where he talks about like um, creation and all that. Yeah. So I showed you that. Yeah, you showed me that. So you asked um, me if I'd seen it. <laughs> no, no, I'm actually seen that. I'm actually seen Pocket Sound. Is it? Is okay. It's um the guy who wears the trucker hat is at I think a train station and he's trying to steal someone's briefcase and he goes up to them, grabs them, starts wrestling with them, and he lets go and just goes, goes into his pocket and goes Pocket Sand and then blinds him and then runs off and I found it humorous because the way it's Pocket Sand. Fair play. I know that you and Dalek like play games a lot, so you should have like, a little... As do you. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah, what I was going to say is, why don't you discuss, we all discuss what our favourite games are. Because that's like a generic thing. Uh, and stuff. Um, what we what to... we generally play or all-time just, just favourite? Just bear in mind that if you do ask Dalek why is this game is his favourite, he will go on and on. I don't Dalek remember Mask. what game it is. Go then. Dalek. Max Payne. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why is it your favourite game? And then what it is. What, Max Payne? Oh, God. Oh, How do we know it's going to be Max Payne? <laughs> right, why is Max Payne your favourite game? I don't know. Because Fair it's... Back. <laughs> Carry on. Alright, it's fine. Um, I'm going to make this short, just to not bore. Right, go for it, you go for it. Fill the podcast time. I mean, uh, yeah, go. Yeah, all right, fine. Um, Max Payne uh, is a classic game with amazing graphics for 2001. Uh, it was difficult for computers back then to run it on maximum, but it's pretty funny because it's very easy to run on the highest now. Uh, it's The storyline is uh, pretty awesome because it's in comic strips, and you don't really see that in any other game. The voice acting's well done, nice and high quality. Um, I play the hell Did out of it. Did you just say you don't see the comic script <laughs> thing down in games? Yeah, well, I don't see it in any other games. And I'm have, you ever, have you ever played a Capcom or Marvel game before then? Because pretty much every single Capcom and Marvel game does the comic strip idea. I can say Capcom versus Marvel does it as well. Well, I've never played those games, so... 
if I was to say anything, I'd probably say that art style was actually very generic. The silence, quickly, play some epic music. Generic. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no, no crash. Okay. Um, it didn't, like, what are you gonna do? A lot of slow motion. Like, awkward moment. Adam really realizes like... that music's copyrighted. He's gonna have to actually remove it. It's not copyrighted. It's fair use. Hear that, Proofs. YouTube? It's fair use. So stop going on my videos, and even when I'm at like, a football stadium and there's music playing in the background, claiming that I'm trying to break copyright law. So screw you. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, um, well, that's your opinion. Um, I can't really do anything about it. That's fair enough, I guess. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, it's very addicting. Um, it never gets old, no matter how, how many times I uh, play it. And that's the thing. Um, it's just a really addicting, awesome game with uh, slow motion. And everyone should play it. So, yeah, play it, people. I have play it right time. now. Just I'm already playing it. In fact, I'm I can't already stop played it. playing the game. Why am I playing it now? Yeah. The game what Max Payne break the are you saying we like anyway? Is it the second one or the first one? The first one. So, do you actually like the second one as much, or? No, the second one wasn't that good to be honest. It was a lot shorter than the first one. In my opinion, because I I played it, um, I I didn't play it within years, and I completed the game in about seven hours. But um, I mean that was without rushing or anything. And um, the first game that lasted, I don't know, around th twelve to fifteen hours. I mean that was including messing around and uh, stuff like that. And playing it and whatnot, but um, it was kind of weaker storyline. The artwork or comic strips were a lot like they lacked in quality wise, and people are calling me awesome. Do you have hopes for Max Payne three? It's like an yeah. interview now. That's what it's become. As opposed to just talking to each other. It can be whatever the hell it wants to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the famous okay, Starlet back. here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm back. And what we're back. Thanks for watching. Uh, Max Payne 3. Stay tuned after the break where we'll be talking to Dalek about his Max Payne 3 addiction. See, yeah. Max Payne 3. Max Payne. Stop correcting every freaking Just thing. Max like Payne 3. Marauder no, it's Shield. Not Mass it's Effect. Marauder Shield. It's, it's, the, it's the Chinese knockoff version of Mass Effect. It's called. What's it? What did you say? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused. It's the Chinese knockoff version of Max, Max Payne. Pain. It's called Mass Pain. <laughs> Ass Pain. <laughs> the, the thing is, I expect there is some sort of Chinese knockoff called. I'm that gonna something. Google it. Chinese knockoff. Uh, Max. Chinese have a knockoff of anything. It's just what happens in China. No I mean, offense to anyone in China, but you know everything's fake there. There's like. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Not a generalization well, at mate. all. Just every... That's not me being stereotypical or anything. Oh, that by is... the way, um, speaking, of, speaking of Chinese Max Payne wise, the developers were developed, uh, developed, god damn it, um, tongue tied here, um, inspired by John Woo movies, and uh, I think he's Chinese, so you kind of oh. got the right line there. So that's the thing, as Brett would say. <laughs> yeah, Max, Max Payne 3, um, it looks fairly good. I kind of. Didn't like it at first, but it might be a good game. It might not. But I could be wrong. I could be right. I but I'm, 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 it's I'm made pretty by Rockstar, excited for it. I'm going to love it anyway. But yeah, yeah, but it might not have the uh, same feeling, but um, most people say it has that um, Max Payne feeling. So I'm going to I'm gonna, you know, bet it'll be a good game. But we'll see, actually. We'll see. So uh, speaking of talking to the hat, talking about stuff we don't really have a clue about, what do you think of this North Korea rocket that's moved into place for launch? Yeah, launch for me. what? For launch, for like launching it because it's like a rocket and things. Launching it to what, where? Explode? That's what they do when they hit things. Yeah, no, but well, where they go? Where's it going? Because I have clear that this is actually like a space rocket. They plan to shoot it into space. It's a satellite. Oh, of course, so it's just going to be like one warfare two, right? Where it goes into space and those people get blown away. 
EMP. So you mean, you mean home front because home front. The idea of that is they put a satellite in space saying it's peaceful. Then it, it turns out that is actually a North Korean EMP bomb. That's the whole idea of home front. Of how they... I love how we've gone from yeah. ice skating chavs to North Korean EMP bombs. This is great. <laughs> the thing I just love the drama it causes because like. Uh, North Korea is like, yeah, we're gonna do it, and like America is just like, oh no, you don't. It's like, that's what everyone's like. They, no one trusts North Korea. They're just trying to be peaceful. They just want to stick a satellite into the sky. They want to start their own space program, and everywhere else North they're Korea just like, is best come Korea. on, North Korea. <laughs> that's what it's like, though. North Korea just want to, you know, they want to live in peace. They just want communism, and everyone else is like, no, no, you can't, North Korea. No one takes him seriously. That's the well, point. It's not Ilan because Ill's dead. Ill's I think it's quite the opposite. They do take them seriously. They just like, sort of. They just think they're going to do something evil. Yeah, that's that sort of got like a negative. No, no one takes him seriously. You know, he's just there sitting at the end of the table, and he's like, "I'm going to nuke you. I'm going to nuke you." And America's like, "Sit down, son. Stop crying. You're not going to nuke anyone." Ah, oh, look at him. Look at him, South Korea. That's what it's all like. Yeah, but I read somewhere today that they, they said if someone... Wait, there's a thing here somewhere. They said... Uh, well, basically, I can't bother to find it, but yeah, the long story short is they said if anyone tries to mess with it or shoot it down or take military action of whatever kind, they, they will be... Start quote, World War Three. There will be quote-unquote serious consequences. So, yeah. That's what every country Consequences will never be the same again. That's, that's kind of like um, the uh, X-Men film. If they cross the uh, line, then World War Three. I haven't seen X-Men, so yeah. Is that the, the 2011 one? Yeah, it's really awesome. I was going to try and watch Game of Thrones. That's that's not, th- what? That's not three. That's first class. First class, yeah, so I always forget that one. It's like three, there was no war. As Royale, or whatever, the red... Nightcrawler's dad in that film was fantastic. I say Knuckles' dad, it probably wasn't. Although, actually, you know, it was, wasn't it? Mystique's, yeah. Nightcrawler? Night, Nightcrawler. Did you say Nightcrawler? Yeah. Nightcrawler, son. Did you say Nightcrawler? No. Yeah, Nightcrawler's the best X-Men. Nightcrawler's in that film, but his parents are. Which is Mystique and... As... Rael, or something. Who's the everyone's favourite uh, X-Men? Nightcrawler. I haven't seen it, so I can't Sorry. really say. Well, you've not seen any of them, or seen I any of I think I might have seen the, the first part of the first one. I think the only bit I remember seeing was uh, the bit where he's in a van, he's getting a lift somewhere, and he, he finds out it's got claws, so it must be the first one. And that's the only thing I can remember from X-Men, and the fact that you've got some guy in a wheelchair that looks like a boss, really. But yeah, I haven't seen X-Men. Who's your favourite character, Dalek? Um, from first class, I'd probably say Beast, because he looks really badass and huge. Oh, yeah. This was fantastic in that. See, I haven't actually seen X Men, and I don't know if I'm actually going to say like the white guy, but the one who has like the long glasses and like shoots lasers at is it Cyborg? Cyclops. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, he's my favourite. You say Psylocke? I said Cyborg, but because I, I wasn't oh. really too sure, but I guess that's it. Yeah, I wasn't. I'm not really a fan of the X Men uh, films, but um, First Class was really amazing. It's a Isn't prequel. it like older like versions? It's like uh, just off, you know, it's when like the mutants were first discovered, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically a prequel, prequel. But it's a, pre- a good pre- one though. It's, pre- it's pre- not like the Star Wars where everyone was like, "Ah, oh, George Lucas, these are awful." <laughs> How <laughs> dare you make the better than menace. the third film? At least, yeah. I'd say second is they're better than the second and third. In my opinion. Yeah. That's when I had the first one on VHS and I watched it like every day after school. Because I was a lonely child. <laughs> I think and you... Teen Titans. Teen Titans is a fantastic. Teen Titans. <laughs> Sorry, I just came back. Cyborg's in that as well. Teen Titans. Well, not Cyclo- Cyclops. Cyborg. So, half black, half robot. No, no in the world, little cat business. dog. Cat dog. Sorry, you know, nineties kids TV was just the bomb. Not gonna. Yep. Lie. Hey, that could be a next topic. 
Oh, Chris is lagging again. Hold on. Boom. Chris. Dragon. Digimon, man. Digimon. No, Digimon wasn't good. Code, oh, code, code lead dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the best one was either Arnold. Um, hey, Arnold. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I talk recess was high quality stuff. Recess, you don't. Oh, recess was amazing. Don't you don't even joke about recess. That's some serious. I'm even joking about it. That's well, Disney sucks thing. now. Well, Disney sucks now. To be honest, I mean, it's just random new shows that it, that take five seconds to make. It's all Cartoon Network is all anime now. I'm pretty yeah. sure every single thing on there is anime now. Well, it's not really anime. It's just like. Boring Have you seen show. half the stuff on there? Go on that. Next no, I, I haven't seen it, dude. I haven't seen it in years. I, I haven't seen it in years. When I was uh, watching um, Cartoon Network at my uh, Halloween party, it hasn't changed one bit. It's still got that red button to play some, you know, crappy games. <laughs> Good old Sky. Press the red button now to see uh, some, like, four-year-old games that you're not going to play. Do you remember, what was that thing that Sky used to have? They used to have... Um... Well, the thing you can play games on, uh, Brett or Dalek. Anyone? Yeah, there's several things you can play games. No, no, on. no, no. The, the, the like, the, the hub of games that you. Uh... All right, you're being really fucking vague, and I guarantee someone listening will know. No, you know what I mean. You go on Sky and you go on Games and More. Yeah. yeah. You press the red button or Games. And it's called more, something. Yeah. It's called something. Oh. It's called. Well, you just describe what it is, so people. Gone and they know what it is. So. Well, yeah, the thing where you get the games on that was badass. Except it cost loads of money, and it was like four pound fifty to play a game that was like you could find on the internet. <laughs> yeah. the Nickelodeon did the um, gun sh- square one. Oh yeah, three. yeah, I remember that one. Like oh. I want to do free shooting all over the screen. Yeah, those games were so bad. Fifty. Do you remember fifty fifty? They were. They were. They're terrible. Hell yeah. 50-50. <laughs> didn't that have Gungeon at the end? Let's go with yes. It did, didn't it? Because he... Or am I... is that a different show? No. That's, um... Is 50-50 the one, like... That's one of the cool parents and the kids the were on the questions there. It was, like, number 72, so, come down. Yeah. And then they're 32. like... 32! Yeah! <laughs> woo! <laughs> no, that never had guns in the end because he had that bigger uh, track didn't they where they had to like go up and like down like oh yeah them, there, was, uh, a massive infla- there was like a massive inflatable sort of um of course yeah, the, oh, that yeah was... five, five of them had to go through and they had to grab the things to get extra points as they got to the end what was where am I, what am I talking about then because there's one that's got guns at the end X-Fire what I don't know about it is that what you're on about do you know what I'm on about Brett yeah I can't remember what it's called but it's where the end yeah, the like Three Wait, we st- around a gunge pit and they answer questions and they'll get move further down and they get it wrong. Are we still talking about um 90s stuff? Sky yeah. games. Oh no, we moved on from Sky games back to 90s games. Oh, alright. Not games, TV shows. Sorry. Oh. Uh, doodle doodle doodle. Hey Arnold, do 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 do. Coach the cowardly dog, hands down. Hmm. I don't know. It's it's hard to choose between cow and chicken, Johnny Bravo, Ed and Eddie. Dex's lab because they're all sort of like in a league of their own. Yeah, we well, can't re- you can't really compare them because they're just different. They all have their nice uh, like style. Hmm. I want, I've always that always that's the one thing that ruined it for me. Ed Ed Nelly is that you couldn't get jawbreakers the size of that. I know. <laughs> they're like massively huge, but I don't. I hate jawbreakers anyway because they make my tongue feel really uh, retarded. And they'd probably break your teeth if you chewed extremely hard on them. Yeah, well, I think they've got chewing gum inside to sort of like give you yeah, I know. a reward after like biting through that hard shell and breaking your teeth and running yeah. through enamel. It's like go and have a bit of chewing gum at the end. But an oh, easy way to break it is by just... Uh, also, they weren't white either. They were like green. Do you remember when they had that sh- They had that episode where they went to the shop and they saw, like through the window, they saw loads of jawbreakers? Yeah, and, and then it's just like they, were ba- they, they really needed 25 cents. That's it, man. They needed a quarter, and it's like, really? Oh. Really? Are you this poor? <laughs> you can't get yeah, a quarter. <laughs> well, the whole entire idea, the whole entire, like, all the episodes is just them scamming people for a quarter so they can get a <laughs> Yeah, ba- basically. <laughs> I oh. mean, it was it's so, like, it honestly isn't that hard just to get that amount of money. It really isn't. 
the weird moment is they like go into other people's houses and there's not a single parent on that block. It's like Do you remember what, when no, there's no parents whatsoever. It's like <laughs> everyone owns their own house there. It's like you yeah. even get the kid on the farm and he like works the farm and all that and he's like got no parents. I'm gonna go like, tell mom, <laughs> even though there's no mother. <laughs> Oh god, that was so bad. What was um the gu- the Ed with the yellow shirt and like the three hairs called? Three hairs. The normal Donnie. Ed. Oh, oh, <laughs> what? I think that's Ed. That's no, no, no. Ed which, no. Which D's? How many D's did that? Oh, would, oh, oh, sorry. I thought it was which character. That's two D's. That one is. Well, do you remember? Do you remember when he said like he was the whole episode? It was like my brother's coming to town, or whatever it was. And they, everyone yeah, was scared of his brother. brother. It was like, oh god. Yeah. No one remember that. Okay, fine. Yeah, awesome. I remember. I remember that episode actually. You do. His big brother, right? Mm. Cubics robots for everyone. That was pretty cool as well. That was great. Uh, cliche, but it was good. How is it? How is it cliche? How is it? It's, flying, a, it's how, a typical voice acting. That's how, what it is. How is flying robots in a, a mysterious world cliche? No, 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 not that. The storyline of some episodes are just so cliche and like uh, it's terrible. You, that's one of your favourite words, isn't it, cliché? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what Hollywood does nowadays, mostly clichés. Like, you know... Or um, rehashes. Yeah, rehashes. Um, I haven't seen Titanic. Like, doom, 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 Titanic. Doom, 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 nothing's changed. Doom, 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 just gone 3D. Yeah, doom, 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 that's doom. weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was watching Titanic, okay, and not, I was actually watching it, I was watching the trailer for it, and it said the same director as the guy directed Avatar, and I was like, you can't do that when this movie came out before Avatar, because you, usually you'd pick a movie that you made beforehand, wouldn't you, to like, prove your stuff, you wouldn't put down an older movie that you then made a better movie later, if you I, get my point. I think, uh, apparently, I think my mum was saying, like, you could, she read somewhere that there was a, um, a whole team of people, it took them, like, years to re- Go, not years, but ages to go through each and every like frame of that movie and make it into 3D. So it could be pretty good in 3D, I guess. But I'm not going to watch it. Long. You just want it through software, don't you? I don't going to change the story much. Sorry? To be honest. It's not going to change the story much. Yeah, it's not going to change it at all, apparently. So apparently it's the same thing. Yeah, why Maybe watch it? Maybe if 3D there, like, they see the iceberg easier so they can actually avoid it. Why don't we just watch it online but with like go cross-eyed so we can see it 3D anyway and not have to go to the cinema and save seven quid on a ticket? No, because that doesn't work. It doesn't work anyway. It does if you have normal eyesight, it does. Not when you're colour blinded, it's just like, what the fuck am I watching? How can you not see... What, so you you can't see 3D? No, that's why I don't ever go and watch 3D, do I? Or I don't ever pay for it, because there's no point me paying £11 to go and watch something oh. that I can't see in 3D. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, back to clichés. Red Steel... <laughs> or real steel even, um, is a very, very obvious cliché. From the beginning, I knew it was going to be a terrible film, because it's always going to end up like this. They're in a rough moment, at, and uh, they really need money or need something, or pay back a loan shark, and then they fail and stuff goes down, and then they either get hit again, they do successful, do successful, successful, get hit, Successful, successful, happy ending. It's That's all it is—a happy aspect. ending. It's all you know. This, this is what it's like in real life. The office person is going to have a happy ending. Yeah, but they lost the last fight. They got fucked up in the last fight. No, they didn't. They won. No, they got they got fucked up. No, <laughs> they won in the last fight. It's Zeus. The yeah, Zeus. Yeah, yeah. the the Zeus most messes badass. them up. Yeah, for a little bit, and then they win. They win. It's no, just no, no, the no, technicality. No technicality. The audience is the, votes. Is this the film that has the guy who plays Wolverine in it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Wolverine guy who plays the, the robot dad. fighting one. Yeah, the robot yeah. boxing ro- robots. Yeah. They're like, Dad, it's a training robot, but I want him to fight. And he's like, No, he's just a training robot. He's not made. And he's like, Look, yeah. Dad, he's punching. He wants to fight, Dad. And he's like, Okay, I'll train him. Yeah. <laughs> that film oh. looks awful. <laughs> oh, no. Pretty much, but... it's like, okay, let's make a film. Cool. Uh, let's make a film a bit like Rocky, however, have yeah. robots. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that is just... I, I know what you're smoking, uh, Brett, but um, they did they did, they did, did get a bit messed up, but 
And then they just won. With the kid crying. Because they're so happy. And that obviously, obviously happens in real yeah, life, no, doesn't it? He doesn't win before the um, round finishes. He beats him down. Yeah, but, yeah like, like, like I ends. said. So they get hit. And then they eventually have a happy oh, no. ending. He knocks, he knocks Zeus over, right? But the round ends before he beats him. Well, I don't know. No, well, that's what happens. Well, I, I, I honestly don't care because I got bored of it. I already knew what was going to happen. So, I mean, the only the, the only decent endings are ones that are bad. It makes you like, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it makes you go out, um, you know, the cinema, or you know, go out watching, um, you know, after watching the film, a bad feeling. That's great. Wait, it's something different. The only decent endings are the bad ones. Well, no, 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 but, I mean, some, most good endings are okay, but some are just too cliche, it's so boring. They didn't win. Yes, they did. They didn't win. I watched they the film win. again. Do you watch the film again? You realise that I'm right? No, Zeus because wins. the kid's Zeus crying at on, the end. Zeus wins on points, right? Zeus wins on points. It's a happy... That's simple. It's a happy ending, yeah. Because he's declared the people's champion, which is bullshit in itself, and I agree on that. But he didn't win. Oh, yes. He and didn't, that pissed, actually. That pissed me off when I was at the cinema as well. Oh, yeah, he did. Because then it's saying it. Zeus wins no. the actual, like, uh, instead of the actual robot that won. Zeus, Zeus won, which was Oh, the... my bad. I'm sorry, actually. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Not that it matters. It's kind of like, uh, you know the film Departed about the Irish guys? The Departed. Yeah. Are we all yeah. on board with that film? No. Remember what happens in it again? The one where it's like, there's a cop who's a snitch for the Irish ma- uh, mob, and there's a guy oh, in the Irish mob who's a snitch for the cop. Yeah, and it's like, it goes for the whole entire film, and then in the ending, every single main guy dies within ten minutes of each other. And it's like... Uh, it's like, oh, we're getting an elevator. Bang, he's dead. Pass me your gun. Bang, you're dead. And it's like, okay, I'm the only guy alive. I'm walking home. Bang, an assassin's at my house. And within the last yeah. 10 minutes, everyone dies. And you're just like, no. Please may one main <laughs> character stay alive throughout the movie. I don't like to watch a film and then realise at the end, you know, there's no point actually watching the film because everyone dies. There was no goal achieved. Yep. Spoilers. That's another thing. Spoilers. I just yeah. set up. I just set up the um, email address if we want to talk about that. Unless you guys have a topic you want to talk about. Yes. No. No. Let's talk about the email address because I would like to read emails next uh, episode. If there is any. Uh, yeah. You okay. Email us. So, hopefully, if I've edited this video correctly, there isn't going to be a video at all. Apart from it will be an audio track, and the main thing that you'll see on the screen is the details of how to get in contact with us. That's what I hope is going to happen. It depends how bored I get, and yeah. Well, that happen is we all die. Painfully. Yeah, that too. But the email address is talking through the hat at gmail dot com. Okay. Talking. Is that all one word. Yes, that's all one word. Talking through the hat at gmail dot com. Talking through the hat right now. Talking through the hat, all one word at gmail dot com. Okay, so what we meant That's to do... Talking since... through the hat. Well, hopefully, Dalek, the way we... the way these podcasts are going to work over time is that when we get a bit more traction, if that's the word that people use in podcasting... Traction. Yeah, they use the word traction. Traffic. Audience. Just a big audience. Just a big audience. Fine, fine. Audiences. Okay. More traction. All of the traction above. Is... When we get more people on board, hopefully the way it's going to work is we'll have, be able to discuss p- things people send in Meaning that people watching right now can send a simple email to the address on screen, hopefully if I've edited it correctly, and then we'll talk about your topic, or if you've got like a question or whatever, Chris the guru, apparently, that's what he wants to do. He wants to be the guru of the uh, show, don't you, Chris? You want to be the yeah. guy... S- send your questions. Uh, if you want to send me a question, like, dear Chris, uh, that's how we would know if it is for me. Dear Chris. Me, then I'll read it, like, before the episode. Yeah, you know. I'm kind of like that guy who sits in the corner of the pipe. I'm the wise old man. You could be like, dear Chris, I've got my exams. What's the best way to revise my exams, Chris? Then I'll tell you, I'll be like, you know, I'll be like, go home. 
play some video games. Don't worry about your exams. They mean nothing. <laughs> it's all about work experience. <laughs> Uh, you'd be like, dear Chris, my girlfriend just dumped me. I don't know what to do. I feel suicidal. And I'd be like, forget that bitch, Jack. Go and buy yourself a prostitute. You've earned it. You've earned it, I say. I say, you earned that prostitute. You'd be like, dear Chris, my grandfather's died. I don't know what to do. And I'd be like, turn his ashes into a ring and sell it. Buy prostitutes with the man. <laughs> Right. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> okay, I don't really know what to segue to after that, but uh I know. Um, the fact that you can't buy well you can buy prostitutes in the UK. Yeah, it's, it's not, not against the law. Pretty sure it is. There's no law against is the law is called soliciting and it's against prostitutes standing on the corner of the road offering sex. I can show you a website now if you really wanted to. I, I, bet, can... I bet you can show us a few websites, Chris, but hold on a second. Yeah, I know quite a few escorting websites that you can go to and buy coffee. <laughs> right. I don't know why you're laughing. There's nothing wrong with doing it. If you want to go and have sex with a prostitute, then go ahead. We're I'm enjoying getting it. AIDS, and then the pool's going to be closed. That's why you wear a condom, you idiot. Okay. Yeah, but still, you can't get AIDS when they touch you up. You can't get AIDS if you become a... If you become a what? To be honest, I'm quite glad that you disconnected now because we can move to someone else. <laughs> right. Yeah, so if you want to talk to us... well, That's talking through the hat. I'm going to spell it oh, out word. for the American viewers out there. I'm only playing. Okay, the email address is T-A-L... This would be funny if I made a spelling mistake, wouldn't it? Hold on. I've just got... To... <laughs> now he's called me back. Hello? Oh, hold on. <laughs> At yeah. gmail.com I can't bother to spell it. T-A-L-K I-N-G... T H R O U G H T H E H A T at the swear the A G M A I L dot C O M. Yeah, so uh, this is probably going to be actually now we'll talk about one more topic or so. Whatever happens, well, happens. Let's hope minutes mm. remain. Yeah, we we want to make these podcasts. Well, I don't know about people in here, but I've kind of decided myself that I have decided to do all of these myself. Yeah, are you guys okay with doing? Fuck an, all you. Are you guys okay with doing an an hour podcast every Sunday? Oh, so much effort to talk to you. Like really, I I literally been cutting myself the entire time. I know it gets annoying, doesn't it? I'm, I'm here. Chocolate. It has gone well. I'm here for antidepressants. I'm just eating it. Uh, in this case, yeah. antidepressants. And next time, next time, next, really, next, time we, next time, next time we do a podcast, Chris has promised to be absolutely drunk. Is that right, Chris? Yeah. Uh, so, that's probably how I'm going to do most of my podcasts because it does involve talking to you. <laughs> you had to mute your mic then, didn't you? <laughs> just. That's all shit gets down, man. Okay. Wait, don't need to be drunk when you give a voice, though. For the rest like... of us that don't need alcohol to uh, talk to human beings, uh... not needed. It's just how it helps. It's kind of useful. So yeah, basically the <laughs> this like one... a torch in the dark. You it's don't like... need it. Your eyes adjust, but <laughs> I guess the job done better. <laughs> Here's a cool little fact. Okay, this is a cool little fact for you. Okay, for all of you out there who like pirates. Okay, pirate eye patches. Most of you probably think that pirates wear eye patches because pirates have lost their eyes in battles, so they decided to have a cool little eye patch so they don't look like a freak of nature. Really, this is why. Oh! Pirates... What? No, no, no. This is why pirates have eye patches. It's because obviously there's no like unofficial light back then. There's no unnatural lights, so below deck on boats would obviously be fuck very dark. So why they wore eye patches was the fact that. Their eyes could adjust to the darkness in the one eye, which had the eye patch on it. So when they was going under deck on the boat, they was pilgering or destroying. They would flip the eye patch up so they could actually see and kill. And now you know. That's yeah, what that's, that's, that's the thing. That is, that's the thing. Do you want to end the podcast here? We only got five minutes left, boy. Yep. So, five minutes, I'd spice it up. Of silence!
perfect spice. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect spice. I just, I just, I just hear Dalek go. Hard spice. All right. I got a snack box <laughs> today from KFC. I got the drumstick. It was fantastic. How do you make I, it's like spices and dogs? No, no, puppy tails and... What? Ah, oh, you know, sorry. like the formula what? how you make gals. It was spiced up in nice. It's there it is. Real. And for boys, it's slugs and puppy dogs. So let's go, let's go with the topics of, the, of today's podcast. So at the beginning we had what? Uh, figure skating chaps. chaps. Yeah. Figure skating chaps, yeah. They were fucking them. impressive. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and then we had something like you talked about fish and chips, and then the horse is trampling. The wing. Over... We went for food, yeah. And then the, the horse is trampling over the potatoes underground somehow with their magical underground. legs. Underground? No, the the horses are going. And through the... then we talked about um, Korean missiles. Korean missiles. Then we talked about uh, Max Payne. Max Payne and how Dalek hates Duke Nukem with a passion. And no, I don't. <laughs> we should really. we should all really hate Duke Nukem when it takes ten years for it to be fucking made and it turns out to be terrible. Well, technically, it's been made in three years because they scrapped it so many times. Yeah, yeah it was still terrible for the rate we had. But it took ten years to be released. Hey, hey, hey! Try playing Postal Three. All right, that took five years to make and it's terrible. That's worse than Duke Nukem. It's less optimized. It is terrible. We're not saying Postal isn't a terrible game. Speaking of so terrible people, is one as well. This is... <laughs> anyway, you can say speaking of terrible people. This is Brett talking. Never now. mind. I, I, I no, I wasn't going to say that. But if you want to admit, to, if you want to admit to being a terrible person, that's completely fine. You're always going to be a terrible person. We, 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 we expression, we, terrible. We, we, we welcome anyone here on the uh, Talking Through the Hat podcast. So yeah, you're welcome here. You terrible person. <laughs> you not welcome everyone here. We can. Well, we welcome terrible people to watch or listen. Why are you going with this, Chris? Well, you, you're like, we welcome everyone here. Surely we don't want everyone listening to our podcast. I'm talk- Definitely not terrible I'm people. talking about on here. Yeah. If you're a murderer, don't listen. Right? <laughs> we, don't, we don't want the... Definitely if you're a heroin addict, we condone that one. No, we don't. We do the opposite. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't I'm pretty sure this is the person... <laughs> weren't you at the beginning talking about the legalisation of drugs or something like that, weren't you? No, no, I was just no, I was saying what I condone and don't condone, and heroin was one of the ones you shouldn't do. So if you're doing heroin, get out of our fucking heroin. <laughs> but crack's fine, yeah. I'm saying it, right, aren't I? What heroin? <laughs> I feel like you guys are being dicks. <laughs> I might resign. Correct. On that note, I'll talk about. Get your emails in, talkingthroughthehat at gmail.com. I'll be back next week. Maybe not with Dalek, because he might have Duke Nukem to play over and over again, because he loves that game. So this has been Adam, Brett, and Chris oh. with the Talking Through the Hat podcast with a special guest, Dalek, who's not really special. He's just got special needs. Anyway, see you later. Talk Bye. To you. Bye. 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 Just keep saying bye until it gets to 60 minutes. Bye. 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 How much longer bye. do you have to go? Bye. Bye. A, A minute. minute. Three bye. seconds. Bye. 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 You've got to do special bye. variations as well. Bye. 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 Bye, tons of weed. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, tons of weed. Keep going, God damn it! Bye, bye, bye. 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 Bye, Ten. Ten. Bye 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 nine, bye bye eight, bye nine bye seven, bye eight. Everyone's six, five, bye, four, bye 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 bye. What three, you're doing it? Bye two, bye bye. What's your guy's opinion?